bread. This stuff's so good. This pad's actually really comfortable. Good morning, Sally girl. Good morning. Good morning, who's a good girl? It's a good girl, yeah. Anyway, we'll get up, get ourselves packed up. Just for a day hike, so. so I got my pack all ready. Take, carry some stuff to the car. And we'll just leave the tent and stuff here. I hope I'm praying nobody steals anything while I'm gone. But, but I definitely think, I think all the campsites were booked or taken because there was a group that came through last night that were hiking. They had to hike it, I guess, at dark and get site B. So all the sites were taken last night. I wonder, kind of wondering if anybody's going to stay like the whole weekend or if it was just the last night. But, or I'll check when I get back to the car, just to see how long everybody's staying. But anyway, we'll get ourselves ready to go and hit the trail so we can get to the trailhead and see some stuff today. That's how I go. Right, we we'll go see some stuff. Go see some stuff. Just opened up the door and I was just like, what's out here? No, she ain't bothering to leave her little bed. Oh, yeah. Well, it'd be nice if you got out the door before you stretched. Oh, my goodness. You got a mess. You gotta go. You ready to go? There's something with an uh, I can't tell. It don't look, like, cloudy like it's raining, but there's something falling. Because I'm seeing, like, little wet drops on it over the tent. And I could hear it when I was laying, I was like, it's not supposed to rain. But, you know, I got Sally's harness for the day. I got a bear bag hung up over there. Leaving the chair, leaving the tent, so. Hopefully it's all here when we get back. But, so we're going to hack out to the car. And then we're going to drive up to a lower trailhead. That's the name of it. And start and a hike around Stone Mountain. I think we do Summit. Summit Stone Mountain as well. Let's see, maybe a couple waterfalls. So, yeah, we will just show you all the way. Um, I mean, you can get to the, the tra loop trail um, by hiking, but it was going to be 13 miles or so um, round trip, and I, I didn't feel like doing that, so this will cut out like three miles, I think, three or four, because I think the loop itself is going to be like six, and then, of course, the hike in and out of here is like 1.3, so that's two, yeah. So it's almost like eight or nine. Anyway, it's just beautiful. Gorgeous morning. It's a little bit chilly, but it's not terrible, especially once we start moving. So on the hike back out, we're at the trail junction where the MST goes north toward the parkway. So it's 0.21. So I'm assuming Devil's Garden Overlook. It says 4.9 miles. Um, I'm thinking that's probably up on the parkway. But I'll keep going for you. We're parked.
here's where the MST comes from the south or west. And goes up toward where we were at earlier. But we can keep straight to get to the parking lot. So another sign is pretty much accurate. Like I've got 1.26 and it says 1.2, so. <clears throat> and it's just like that first maybe quarter mile or half mile that's like the steepest. But uh, we got our day pack ready. Drive up to the other trailhead. But I'll show y'all. I was gonna check and see how long everybody else is camping for if the ranger hadn't come and got the the signing sheet. And you can see this uh, there's plenty of parking here. Well this is we got the two Toyotas hanging out and then three Fords. <laughs> So I wonder if those other people didn't see Explorer. So the people in the Sequoia didn't fill out their registration, but they're the ones in C. So, yeah, two nights of camping. Oh, okay, it's a Boy Scout group. So that's who came in late last night, I bet. Because, yeah, nobody was in B when we filmed it earlier, like yesterday. Anyway, yeah. so we got our day pack ready and drive up to the other trailhead. But, mm -hmm. So, to the parking area is 1.3. But I will say, um, I don't think I said this yesterday, but I didn't know until I checked it last night that the difference in elevation between site A and site D was like 500 and some feet. Now you think about the steepness of that when you can say the hike in from here to site A was like 300 feet elevation gain. So I just thought that was that was an interesting comparison. Because like I say, I mean like the steepest part is this like first maybe quarter to a half mile. But anyway. So we are at the Widow's Creek Falls Trailhead. I mean, it was like less than 30 seconds to a minute down the road. So I don't even think the engine warmed up. Um, anyway, so this is Widow's Creek. So well, I guess the trail's up that way for the waterfall, but I just wanted to film this. Oh, it's so pretty. Anyway, yeah, we'll hit the trail. So I guess this is, this is just a day use parking area. No overnight parking or camping. But it's weird because like there's a jug going that way and then there's a trail over here. Oh, there's a garbage can, perfect. We'll go ahead and throw away our garbage. So yeah, we got garbage from camp last night. So we'll go ahead and toss that. It's just nice that they have trash cans. Now we can hit the trail. Like I say, I don't know the difference between the two. Yeah, so they just intersect. So it don't matter which one you take. Either one. I know what this is. Oh, 
so pretty. <laughs> this is like eighth of a mile. Boy, I bet this is popular once it warms up during the day. We'll head back to the car and go up to the other trailhead to start the loop. This is definitely worth the stop for as short as it is, and obviously it's popular, so. Really pretty. I wasn't even expecting it to be that pretty. I mean, that sounds bad to say. I just wasn't expecting much, and it's really, really pretty. It's really. I like it. So, all the way back here, I mean, it's like just under a quarter of a mile. But, anyway, we'll head back to the car. And here we are, back to the parking area. So our total round trip is 0.28. That was Widow's Creek Falls. You have to watch out for the mud. I've slid in that now twice. But yeah, really pretty waterfall. Here's the lower parking lot. See, there's a good amount of parking that they've got a bathhouse looks like and we'll check out the signboard before we start <laughs> they've got a payphone wow when was the last time you saw a payphone oh they got free maps sweet i'll get one so they do have garbage cans here too okay so cool. Stall, sink, no like paper towels though, so but at least it's clean. So, the maps, I'm just going to grab a map. So, and a friend met me. Actually, first time meeting her. We, we talked online a good bit, but first time meeting in person. So I wasn't sure she was actually coming this morning. Just happened to run into her when I came out of the bathroom. And I thought I recognized the dog. And I was like, wait, that dog looks familiar. So how bad is it? I recognize the dog before I recognize the person. Anyway, so we're here at the Lower Trailhead parking area. And uh, we're gonna walk Wolf Pit Rock Trail to Wolf Rock. Maybe see Cedar Rock cut down Cedar Rock Trail to the homestead, then go around, maybe go to Middle Falls. I really don't know if we'll do the falls today or not. It just depends, I don't know what she's gonna feel like doing. Then Stone Mountain, and then walk around, see Stone Mountain, 
back to the trailhead. I'm guessing this right here is Wolf. Okay, Stone Mountain Loop Trail. Oh, cute little things. I don't know what that is. But okay. Let me get on that here in a minute. Let me get Pat, get Sally out. Hopefully, her and Gracie get along. Because her car has that code lock on it. Oh. So she, they didn't take the key. She didn't take her keys either. Yeah. That's right, it was. So I think they were about halfway. And she called me and she's like, oh my gosh, you're never going to believe what we just did. <laughs> This is such a pretty park. It is. So long story short, I went and got their keys and delivered. You've never, you've never been here before? No. Mm -mm. It's a nice park. <laughs> so guys, this is Alice and Gracie. And Alice forgot her socks. <laughs> this is not her normal hiking footwear. No. Not at all. So since you've been here before, do you think it's better to go counterclockwise or clockwise? Oh, I don't want to climb. I'll let you climb the mountain. Um, do you want to hit Wolf Rock first? That's what I was kind of thinking. Yeah, so we'll go this way. Get our legs warmed up. Yeah, I probably don't have the whole loop in me. I gotcha. Because that, um... That climb up Stone Mountain. Well, there is no easy way up Stone Mountain. Yeah. Oh, crap. So, anyway, I just got... We just got to the split, so I forgot to start my tracker. But, I don't think it's more than, like, an eighth of a mile. Come on, Grace. Oh, Wolf Rock. To the right. Okay. Hey, Tight and stuff. Yeah. Made dinner. Hung out. Went to bed. Devil's overlook. Yeah. Devil's garden. Yeah, I saw the sign. Yeah. So we hiked up there. Good gosh. <laughs> that was a five miles straight up. Uh really? Nothing, bro. Yeah. Or changing to my hiking shorts. I just threw a poncho over me. And just went. Yeah. 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 So that's Stone Mountain over there, I guess. Oh! Do you see a big rock? Yeah. Is that it right in front of us? Yeah. I see. You know, I just... I'm like, I really don't need a dedicated trekking pole tent. Because then you've got the weight of the trekking poles. Right. They kayak a lot, but they like to do lakes and fishing. Okay. Oh, check that out. She's like, I do not care about fungi. This is how you would go back to the campsite if you hike from the campsite up here. So this is point probably almost a mile from the parking area. But we're done like 36 miles. Well at this point we're done. Thirty-five and a half. Yeah, it's a rough one, but I don't know what it is. Huh. Is there anything up here? So I, I tend to I wander know. around. I, I just, I didn't even notice it. I just happened to look to my left. I was like, wait a minute. I remember seeing that in somebody's video, but I just didn't remember. Well, because I know going in inside, there's an old chimney. There's an old home site down okay, there. so where is that? Because I saw it in people's video, but I didn't see it anywhere. I don't remember where it is exactly, but I do remember seeing it. It's on the left. It's basically, when you after you get up that um, 
twisty part. Yeah. If you just kind of walk the whole way instead of mucking through this. Yeah. Come on, guys. Yeah, I would love to camp in the snow. Yeah. But I don't think I want to camp in the snow at Rome Mountain. No. No, no. Jason Highlands would be a good place to do it. Or shelter. Right. Honors. But as like, do you realize this thing gets 15 miles to the gallon? No, it's like 18. I get 18. Do you? Almost 19, yeah. Okay. Do we want to go out to Wolf Rock first? Oh, okay, yeah. That's so you you would be taken. Well, another option might be like the Honda Passport. Yeah. That I need. So and this the, is Wolf Rock. Wow, it's so pretty. See, most people don't come here, so you have this whole space to yourself. Until I discovered this, and I'm like, mm -hmm. so I came up here one day. I think we walked down there or somewhere. Yeah, I don't know why, but it is. Yeah. One thing, I mean, I, I say I've got it because I got a ground Harper's Ferry. Is that going southbound on the AT? Yeah. Because you passed the Mason Dixon line and all that. We are in uh, the week after the third half of Labor Day, we're leaving and we're doing Bears, Bears Den to Harper's Ferry. Oh, okay. So we're going to do all of West Virginia so we can get our AT patch. Nice. For West Virginia. Just, you know, just you. I mean, and someone could talk to me. And she's like, is that even a question? <laughs> I was like, excellent. So we're going Cedar Rock. I think Blackjack Rigg does too, but Cedar Rock is just another rock. Shorter. And if we go this way, then we can see Stone Mountain from the trail down. Okay. So Cedar Rock. So that over there is Stone. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I bet like the waterfall is over in that area and then you climb up the back side. Yeah. The waterfall, see where that second rock is over there? Yeah. That's where your waterfall is. Oh, okay. Because you go up. You actually climb up part of that rock. Yeah. And then you loop around the back side of Stone Mountain. Okay. Slow. Yeah. But never zero. Yeah, but you, you can never say, oh, it's never going to happen. But most likely not. So, I've just had Gracie in front of me. Yeah. And just followed her little white feet out. There you go. Oh, gosh, I bet. <laughs> and I start hyperventilating and gorgeous um i think i've i've gotten rid of that notion <laughs> yeah change your heart on that one i was like <laughs> i even bought the little map for it yeah i'll leave that and bread like i you know i'm like i'm gonna take this one since we gotta take this to the to the homestead. yeah um yeah some social media now. extended Doable hike. Yeah. I mean, I don't consider. No, I thought they were bigger. That's what everybody is. I mean, like she's. A, I mean, the, like seeing the pictures and videos of her, I thought she was bigger, and I thought she was more Gracie size. Yeah. But for me, she's a good size because thirty-five pounds. I can lift her up, and you know. Yeah. Can you imagine living here? I know. Have you been to like Cave's Cove and stuff? I have never been to Cave's Cove out. No. Um, some of them are replicas, but some are the actual buildings. And I don't want, you know, to piss people off. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And they're not going to listen to you. Mm-mm. I was so pissed. Can you imagine if this was your backyard? I can't. I mean, it's. I wonder if it. Come on, Grace.
I wonder if they have like things where they demonstrate life here. Oh, it's the Hutchinson homestead. That's what this area is. 1855, eight children, and then their kids, maybe their grandkids, there was eight grandkids. Oh, Jim and Ruth stayed on, and Jim was hired as the first stranger at the park. He moved away in 19, so he was ranger for 10 years, and then moved away in 79. Marking the end of a 120 year history of the homestead. So this is them in 1885, 1945. Oh, so that's him as a ranger. Well, I, bet he could, I bet he has some stories to tell. Yeah, from that from 1895. Look at the sunflowers. Small building in front of you. Am I missing something? In front of me. I don't see. In front of you is the outhouse. Huh. Well, I don't know. It must be an imaginary one. Apparently there's what it looked like. Oh, they had a woodshed, but they removed it due to safety concerns. Looks like they might have moved the outhouse, too. I don't see it, but... So this was... Oh, they had ginseng. Mild ginger. Butterfly weed. My mom has that. Uh, I've never seen that. That quilt pattern. I've seen that. I've seen that. That's common. And that's that's common. Yeah. Oh, really? So now where's that at? In North Carolina? It's in Winston-Salem. Oh, okay. Hey, Gracie, what's it making? A little messy. <laughs> well, yeah. So your job is to sit out here blue? Well, my job here is to sit and tell people where to go, but nobody's asking yet, so. Okay. Oh, okay, so this was the cellar. I can't, can't get all the canned stuff.
Oh, okay, so they have a spring. It's probably just gonna get bugged, because it was buggy at the campsite last night, too. I think it's just where it's warm. It's just crazy, like, how small the doorways are. It's, yeah. And she normally is, except sometimes she's just like, I'm mm, not in the mood. Yeah. Like, like, like same, me. Gracie, same. We're all like that. Blacksmith. Oh, that was the blacksmith shop, I guess. That had to be a hot job. Mm -hmm. Gracie. So of course, as soon as you start filming it, she does like Oh, yeah. She likes to be on the left-hand side. It's the same with her. Oh, yeah. So, stone back out of the settlement. So, 2.57. And we're going to stay on the loop. Well, I'm glad they're getting along. Oh, yeah. Where's that go? I think that goes to the rock climbing. Oh, that makes sense. I think they tend to bring the best out of people. Yeah, I love this dog. Because I got my creek stomping shoes on. Creek stomping? So I guess this is the benefit of the Chaco. Yeah, you just go wherever. So fun. And then I think that was in 20. So I went. Oh, oh this is pretty. That's the way those roots are on that tree is really cool. Mm -hmm. And Sally wants to lay down and roll in the water. Mm-hmm. Mr. Keeps that tail out of it. That's all that matters. Do you like it? I think we can go through the creek. Come on. Tighten my shoes though. This is such a gorgeous area. So pretty. Looks like they've had fire here though. Of course, and Sally's like, wait a minute. Sally's like, I don't understand why she's getting to go and I'm not. Do they have a fire up here? Because I noticed like over there there was some fire damage. I don't know if it was a fire or if it was a control. Oh, uh, okay. Just kind of walking around this neighborhood park. Yeah. middle one because the lower one's pretty far down but I figured we'd do the middle one the middle okay. falls that one you want to you know, go out and back on up on yeah I'll, I'll do that but like we'll go that way the middle falls come back and then go all right yeah, maybe it'll feel good I don't care <gasps> oh what's colder than I thought it was going to be so three point probably two seven back there to the split for middle falls and the North Falls Trail. Nobody said that's not true. Some places say it is. I don't know. Let's see. This is Middle Falls, so. Is this a good idea? Yeah, it's like all of them in the Smokies are like that. So this is Middle Falls. Let's see. Alright, so 3.55 here. 
Ready to go up? Ready to go? Go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh gosh. Because after that incident, I think. Okay, just see what you're doing. Uh, this, these are starting to, to rub, yeah. yeah. Totally understand. So, all right, yeah. well, enjoy. I look forward to the video that we'll be in. Oh, yeah. Take care. Job safe. All right, so we're back here at the split 3.87. So, then Alice and her doggy Gracie are headed back to the car. So it's great meeting them and hiking with them and stuff. But we're going to keep going. Do the whole leap around Stone Mountain. So and it's getting hot. So it's going to be a sweat fest. Um, so yeah, it's just really fun. But she's got to get back. She's got to get back. And, you know, she didn't want to do this whole loop in her sandals. But so I totally understand. The middle falls was pretty. But they were, it seemed like I saw yellow jackets. So I was kind of like freaking out. I didn't want to get stung again. But I mean, this is just a really, really pretty area. I think I've already said that multiple times, but it kind of reminds me of South Mountains, the way like the forest is open. Just thankfully we've had shade for the most part this morning. And yeah, so it was fun. Looking forward to backpacking, hopefully together with her and her dog and stuff so um, but we'll keep going up to the summit of Stone Mountain and she said there was a visitor center so we'll go up and check that out hopefully if we get off the trail in time um, but I think I may have to take in some electrolyte gummies because I'm not eating anything today and I'm feeling a little peckish <laughs> oh, so I got everything so I just ate some of my cliff blocks margarita flavor so good we got two miles of uphill. I think it's like 800 or 900 feet elevation gain. So I don't think it gets super steep, hopefully. But it's definitely warming up. Go up the stairs.
top. It's a really pretty waterfall. I say I think that's South Mountain Falls. Oh, not South. Stone Mountain Falls. So this is at 4.23, but I say maybe about an eighth of a mile off since I missed that connector to Old Trinity Park and, like, and where the loop starts. Anyway, yeah, I'll keep climbing. Come on, sir. Oh, yeah, you can go first. I'll try, come on. We'll say since we started climbing up this, I've got two bars of the LTE. This is kind of like Amicalola, all these stairs. At least they're wood and not metal. So this is another overlook, 4.3. This is nice. This is slippery. Hi. Sal. Oh, they need to turn the bushes back. I can actually see it. Oh, that bridge right, that bridge right here feels good. Safe ways. Oh, we might stop here and eat a snack. Take a little snap break right here. Nice little break spot. Time to get going. Gorgeous. Bow. Bow. Come on. Okay, so I guess stone, that's how tall that fall, waterfall is. really slippery so I'm not going to go right there. No. Go up. Okay, so you know, for like the other park in the area where they got those coming from. But we're gonna keep going. See, now that says the entirely is 4.3. But when I mapped it, this is 6 point something. 1.4 to the summit though. So to this point, it's been 4.62. Mm -hmm. 
And it actually may be right now that I think about it. So 4.3. Because we did that to the middle falls and stuff. So we'll just see how much we end up with by the time we get to the fall. I'm hoping to be done in the next couple hours because I really like to stop at the visitor center. Get me a sticker. I mean, I want just to enjoy the views. That's just reminded me a lot of South Mountain though. It's like the open forest Sally stop. Ooh. I don't think I said what I had for lunch, but I gave Sally a jerky stick, just a beef one, and then um, I had, I think it's like a sea salt pretzel bar, with like nuts and stuff by Monk Pack. Anyway, it was good. I had some Gatorade. Anyway, keep going. And a little bit of deja vu just with the way all this is open how like south mountains was So these overlooks are around the five mile, five and eighth mile. Boy, how nice would it be to have like a campsite right there? So that's Stone Stone Mountain. That's where we're headed to next. So I think it's like a half mile uphill, but it's switched back, so shouldn't be too bad. So we're up. Is it switchbacks? Ah. Oh. sun is hot and it's only I think mid 80s today 
definitely don't think I would enjoy this if it was nine and something. That would be miserable. That looks like a shortcut, Sally. We're not taking the shortcut. What a view. So, that right over there is where we were at a few minutes ago. So, it's funny, over there I had signal. Up here, and it's at a higher point, I have no signal. Oh, yeah. Well, so, here's our little side trail. 5.86, probably about 5.9 something. I mean, there's just like rock outcroppings all over. Find some shade to enjoy the view with. Oh, so there's like a cabin on that ridge it's just so pretty that's a big uproot i thought it was a rock standing up but it's a big uproot so we're back on the main trail at 5.98 almost there Most people take that shortcut instead of coming around and up. So it's like there used to be a shortcut. And then they've made that one or people's made it. So this is a 6.07. Grass is gonna get you, Sal. You getting your sillies out? Is that what you're doing? Alright, so we're back on the main trail at 6.17. Oh, and then, so we're getting off the trail again at 6.19. So I'm assuming all this is Stone Mountain. Join the trail probably about 6.29. It definitely seems like most people do this opposite and they do it clockwise. But I mean, I, I like the route I picked. I mean, yeah, 
Well, I wouldn't do it different, I don't think. It's just really pretty though. I really enjoy this. This whole area is just gorgeous. Especially the trees. It's so nice. Here's the summit of Stone Mountain. We made it! We made it! Hopefully we can find a shady spot to rest. to see the views and then we'll head back down the trail. Uh, we got like one mile to the car I think and then we'll go try to hit up the visitor center to get a sticker at the trail. What you doing? I think we just kind of hit a bubble where most people left, so hopefully, yeah, some nice views. But I mean, you see, there's not a ton of shade spots, so keep that in mind. I saw some people sitting, trying to sit here earlier. All right, I guess it's time to go up. Cool view though. So it's funny, like that settlement we were at earlier, it's in between where we're at now and that rock face. So it's just down in that valley, but you can't really see it. But I'm not getting closer to the edge. I gotta climb back up this, don't I, Sally? It's such a cool view. I was just thinking like, it was really busy there a minute ago. Maybe my snoring scared everybody off. Cause I'm not positive about was snoring. Like I fell out hard. Come back up. Like I said, we got about a mile to the car. So we'll see what else we can see today. But this is totally worth coming up here. It would be cool to come up here for a sunset. Cause you're looking west here. there was even people trying to get some shade right in here. I think we might accidentally somehow got the best spot over there. It's just such a cool view. I can't believe we have it all to ourselves. It's so nice. Oh my god. Definitely a nice place to take a nap. We've gained almost 1,700 feet today. So at this point, we've done 6.54, but that includes the little bit of wandering we did around the sun, around this summit. Now let's go find some shade. Oh wow, right, here's another view. Well, we might as well see it, haven't we? So. I mean, 6.5 seconds just below the summit. 
looks like now this might be a good sunrise view but you're behind this other ridge so really you wouldn't get to see the sunrise e here either so pretty so i think we came down this way i'm really not sure but anyway there's just kind of trails all over the place it looks like oh we might have went that way yeah okay so i just came out at a, came back in the woods at a different place so, i got a main trail at 6.65 It's nice that they've got benches in places to let you rest. What is this sticking up in a rock? Let's see. So this is the trail. Huh. Oh wow. It's pretty steep. I can imagine going up it. These deck boards don't look the best either. This side's pretty steep. It's got. I mean, it's got a lot of stairs too, but they're bigger, like taller stairs. So I definitely like the route we did better. Personally. Oh man. That's really wet. I don't think I'm gonna go over there. Definitely don't think I'd want to do this if this rock was wet. See the water running down. Yeah, I'm definitely glad I didn't come up this side. Got this little bit of shade and see how we got this little bit of shade and see how he's like, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna stand here and just enjoy this for a little bit. So it's hot walking on that rock and it's steep. Okay, just glad we're going down, not up. All right, baby. Looks like there might be a viewpoint out there. I think that guy has peace and quiet. Oh, this is definitely nice down here. You got a breeze, you got some shade. Super nice. Check this one out. This is cool. I'm off the trail. Yeah. You 
you can see people have been short and short cutting the switchbacks so good to be back down in the tree line there's where people are short cutting Is that the road? That's not that that's not the parking area. I think it's just a road. Park road or something through the trees. Unless that's another shortcut. <laughs> Decide to have a seat on the step. Was that most convenient? I think Sally's even tired. Good girl, Sass. Good girl. Hey, you know what, guys? I'm tired. It's hot. I'm sweaty. I'm tired. And we still got that one point three mile hike into the campsite. But at least we're not doing it with the heavy pack, so that should help some. But, um, go to the visitor center from here to see if I can get a sticker. Hopefully, they're still open. It's only well, after three right now, so I'm assuming they close at five, maybe four. But, huh, it's been a it's been a really great hike, but I've really enjoyed it. Oh, I think I see my car through the trees. Um, I just really enjoyed it. It's been really pretty. I think even Sally sees the car it's right through there. So. Yeah, like I said, I don't even think this was an eighth of a mile from the parking lot to the split. Where, that's where I started the tracker this morning. It was right here at the split. Um, but yeah, I just really enjoyed it. It was just really beautiful. Glad I got to share part of the trail with um, Alice and her dog Gracie. So, just this loop. Not the, the part that goes to the parking lot, but just this loop was 7.53. So 7.53. But yeah, I've just really enjoyed it. It's been gorgeous. And definitely worth it if you come here and backpack or camp to do the loop. I mean, I don't see why you would just go up to one viewpoint and not do the whole loop. But my preference after coming down from Stone Mountain would be to do, do it the way I did it, which is go to the right first and then do the loop. But I don't like using do, going up steep surfaces and all that. I would rather go down it, so. Come on, Sally girl. I'm not letting you get in the water, not right before you get in the car. That is not happening. It looks like the sun is like shining right on my vehicle. It's gonna be nice and hot in there. right went around Wolf Rock Trail, Cedar Rock Trail, down to the settlement, walked around the settlement, 
walked up to Stone Mountain Falls and then up there to the summit of Stone Mountain and back to the car for a grand total of 7.61 so yeah the total mileage I missed that like it would affect the track of like where the viewpoints are is like 0.08 so it wasn't even eighth of a mile but anyway there is my relief vehicle so we will I may see if I can film in the visitor center but I don't expect to so uh, we'll see y'all at the trailhead to return to the campsite